today's Sims 4 video, we're gonna be building a house in The Sims 4 on a budget, except there's one catch. We can't see the price. We'll be using this number generator here from one to 100,000. This is how we're gonna come up with our budget and our goal here is to build a house as close to that budget as possible. And how we're gonna do that, when you're in the manage world screen like this one here, if you click on any empty lot and then click on this button down here where it says build, we're gonna be in build mode, but down here you'll notice that we have now infinite funds, meaning anything that I place here will not show up down below. Like normally when you're building with Sims living there, you'll see a price down below, you'll see a budget going down. The only way that I'll be able to actually see my price is if I click up here and look at lot value, then we're gonna see that number going up. So we're not gonna check on that until the very end when I think that I've hit the number that we're supposed to hit. And let's go ahead and generate our budget. <laughs> okay, let's go. We get 41,600 and 32 simoleons as our budget. Let me just write that down real quick. Oh, and if you're worried about me adding these up in my head and figuring it out that way, besties, it is 5 a.m. I'm already filming a building a house and doing other things on the side. I don't, I will not be doing math in my head, I promise. Speaking of being, being on, on a budget, budget, this video is sponsored by ThreadUp, an online thrift store that makes it so easy to find all the brands you love at up to 90% off estimated retail. ThreadUp believes in a sustainable fashion future with a mission to inspire a new generation to shop secondhand first. I have been shopping on ThreadUp for months now and I'm gonna show you what I got along with the tips that I have for thrift shopping online. So my first tip for shopping on ThreadUp is to use search to type in your favorite brands, any brand you can think of. Of. They have so many. So for example, I typed in Zara and found it a lot easier to filter the kind of styles that I wanted. My second tip is to use the shop by outfit feature on their website. Using this opens up a ton of outfit inspiration and when you click on each item, it will show you similar items so you can rebuild that look. These are some of my favorite finds. Cue me attempting to model. This is my first outfit. The vest and the skirt are both from ThreadUp. That vest there was originally $99. But on ThreadUp, I got it for $36.99. That skirt there was actually from Zara. It was originally priced at $50. I got it from ThreadUp for $10.50. Fall is my favorite time of year to shop for fashion. And I really wanted to add a jacket to my fall collection. So I picked up this one here from ThreadUp. I paired it with these shoes, which I loved because they have that chunky heel. And I also picked up these jeans. These are also from Zara. When I saw these, I had to pick them up. I love the flare at the bottom, that Y2K style coming in hot. You can shop my picks with the link below. Use code SIDMAC and get 30% off your first order. Thanks to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. So I actually feel like 41k isn't too bad of a budget in The Sims 4. It's more than a starter but it's not enough to be like a really big house. So I'm gonna be aiming for a cute little like fall inspired cottage maybe. We might be able to get away with two floors. I might just kind of go like that. Roofing doesn't cost a thing so I can go crazy with like my roof shapes here. Maybe we'll add a big piece at the front here. I'm all about the curved roofs lately. I love how they look, especially when I'm going for cute like fall cottages. I'm gonna add a roof piece on the bottom floor here and I'm gonna bring it into the middle a little bit. We're gonna copy and paste that and do it on the other side. So we've got it looking like that. I think I am gonna curve these pieces too. So just using shift C on my keyboard, I'm gonna flare it out at the end a little bit. And now here at the front, I'm gonna take another half gabled roof piece and we're gonna shrink it down so that it meets that top part. Pull that all the way across and now we have like an interesting looking like top part as opposed to just having the one gabled piece up there. And you know what? We'll just flare that one too just because everyone gets the flare today. Maybe that's a little much. And then over here, I haven't done like a glass roof piece in a while. I'm kind of considering doing that over there. Maybe we can open that up and do like a fall inspired greenhouse on that side. And I think I'm also gonna be building my own chimney over on this side. So I'm just gonna do something like that. On top of there, we're gonna go in and add some half walls. And then here I can go in with another half gabled roof piece and bring that all the way up to about there. I'm gonna bring in the adjuster so we're not having anything hanging over there. And we'll just do the same thing on the other side. Cute. Let's raise this up on a foundation. We can add a cute little porch right here, bring that across. I might actually use this fence here from Cats and Dogs instead. The foundation I'm gonna use is from Seasons. And I've kind of pushed my build back a little bit on this lot. I think I'm gonna do the front part with like a small post 
pumpkin patch right there or something. I think I'm gonna use this stone here for my chimney. This wallpaper is $9. I feel like I might be splurging a little too much. I'm trying to think of like the average price of my regular builds if I'm just like freely building on my own. I also put some stone there for our bump out. For my door, I'm thinking of using this one here from Cottage Living. We can add some lighting there. These ones are cute from cats and dogs. And for windows, I'm kind of tempted to use these ones from Seasons. Whenever I do like autumn inspired builds, Seasons will definitely shine. So I feel like we're gonna see a lot of it today. May as well just go for it. I'm gonna use some cheap windows here on the side for our greenhouse. I'll probably do a mix up here of these two from Eagle Lifestyle. Maybe it would be cute if we brought that front porch out a little bit and then I can add some spandrels in between the columns that I just added. Like these ones here, I might have to build a wall and just kind of like fix it there and do it myself. There we go. Since we're going for a fall inspired build, I think I could put this here, maybe like sized up. That looks cute. All right, in terms of basics, windows, doors, everything, I think we're good here. I'm gonna start to add some details. We still need a chimney to go in our chimney. If I had to guess right now, I would think we're probably around like six, 7k maybe and I think I would probably feel comfortable going inside like around the 10k point so that's what I'm thinking about like hoping for in my head. I do know that landscaping can really get you and if you're like me literally every video I'll come back and be like so I went overboard on the landscaping um if I had to guess where all of our money is gonna go it's probably gonna be here so I'm gonna do a little bit around this tree here. I also still want to add the pumpkin patch out front so I think maybe this will be okay here. I love these like wildflowers lately. I feel like they look so cute. So I'm just adding a couple of those along the side here. Along the back, I don't have a whole lot of room back here anyway. So I'll probably just do like all hedges. Terrain paint is free. So I mean, we can go a little bit crazy there. I added some vines going up the side there, which I think look really pretty. There's like some different swatches that you can use from vampires to get that like fall effect. And now I'm just gonna build a quick little pumpkin patch right here. I'm gonna add this fence here. I might just do it around the corner like that just for like design. I turned on cottage living debug so that I can add in these pumpkins. I can't wait to go to a pumpkin patch. I still can't um, leave the house currently because I'm still technically sick, but I'm hoping that soon when the pumpkin patches open up, I can go and visit. They're so freaking cute and fun to like go take pictures there. I'm also gonna be adding a few pumpkins around like on my stairs. I kind of want to raise them up and put them on the steps. Spends like a thousand simoleons on pumpkins. Maybe for an extra skill item, I can add a couple planters right here. Okay, I think I need to stop. <laughs> like, definitely, definitely need to stop. If I had to guess, we are definitely over 10K at this point. The lot price was 1.5K. And I think we definitely did some damage with all this landscaping and stuff. So let's go inside. Luckily, this interior isn't too big. So I don't really think we could get ourselves in too much trouble in here. Okay, so inside here, we're probably gonna have to have maybe one or two bedrooms upstairs. I really wanna turn this here into a fireplace where the chimney is. So I think I'm gonna leave that as like my living room area. I'm thinking we do living room on this side, kitchen and dining over there. And I still have to have my door leading out to the greenhouse. We'll do a bathroom in the back. I think I'm gonna open this part up here. My stairs, I kind of just put there in the corner like that. And then upstairs here, we should have more than enough room for maybe a bedroom over here, like on this side. It's definitely gonna be squishy in here. We'll do a kid's bedroom over on this side, parent's bedroom over on the other one. and there we go. That is going to have to be our layout. We're going to use these doors here from Seasons, $50 doors, like on the cheaper end for these. And let's start first building our living room. So over here is kind of where I wanted to build my fireplace. I was maybe thinking we could open it up with some spandrels like that. Maybe this wall can have this like brick here. And I think that fireplace there could be really cute. That one's from Cottage Living. I don't know what I want the rest of my wallpaper color scheme to be. I don't know if I want to do like this burnt orange. This one I'm using from the Oasis courtyard kit. I was kind of thinking maybe even doing like a brown as well. Maybe we can save the burnt orange for like the kitchen or something. On our fireplace, I'm gonna raise up this TV. I think the best strategy for the inside here is gonna be going for like mid-range items. Ooh, that couch is really gonna look cute in here. Like maybe on the menu, I won't go too far down to the bottom, but we'll like get somewhere in the middle. I definitely wanna use some of this Desert Luxe kit stuff. How much was the new couch? I mean, this couch is quite a bit more expensive than the other one, but 
it. That is a really nice, comfy looking couch. I'm gonna use this rug here from the industrial loft kit. We'll use the new end table there from the desert luxe kit. We also have this one, which could work with our color scheme. Maybe I'll put these ones right at the front. So just like a cute walk-in area like that. I've got two hanging lanterns there from Cottage Living. Maybe we can add some mirrors here from Vintage Glamour. There is gonna be a kid here. So I'm gonna put that backpack there at the front. I think we'll have room for this bookshelf over here from the Desert Luxe kit. There's this really cute fall pop-up book there. This is from the Little Campers kit. Oh, we could also do the s'more station. Maybe I will put that right here. I don't know if this family would be roasting them in the fireplace. Do people even do that? So our living room here is coming along. I do have this space under the stairs here, which I cannot forget about the child. I'm kind of just realizing I haven't built for a kid in The Sims 4 in quite some time, I think. So we'll just put some toys under the stairs. Maybe this is just where we keep like storage under there. Actually, this chest here is kind of perfect. Oh, and this guy, your Sims are still gonna be able to get back there. So I feel like that'll be really cute. Actually, let's make it a whole like under the stairs moment. I'm gonna find a rug. We can put some fairy lights under here. I'm gonna use these ones here. I feel like they give off light as opposed to the ones from the holiday pack. I'm also gonna be using these here from Seasons and hiding in here are so many fun swatches. There's these leaves, which I like to use. I'm just gonna hang them from the stairs. So there's this cute little cozy area. Oh, and there's these little pillows here that have like campfires and leaves and trees on it. Very fall-like. I'm gonna put a couple of these underneath. There, that is a super cute play area underneath there. All right, let's turn around. We're gonna go and do the kitchen next. And for in here, I think I might use this door from the industrial loft kit. I'm gonna use the same lighting in here that I used in the living room, which were from the Desert Lux kit. And for this room, I kind of have this weird like spot over here, which I might put as like pantry. So maybe we could actually close this off. I'm gonna add an archway there. And then inside there is where I'm gonna put like storage, pantry storage. I'm gonna use those shelving units there from high school years. I'm gonna put some country kitchen kit clutter in here. We can do some of the like cottage living clutter as well. I love these bowls of fruit from the country kitchen kit. I think I might use a couple different swatches in there for that. That is some good fall clutter going on in there. Look at all those cute items, especially the cottage living ones with the mushrooms on it. It's perfect. I'm gonna section this part off here so that the rounded shape doesn't look so weird. Just adding a couple cute things up there. And for my counters, I'm thinking maybe snowy escape or actually even these here from cool kitchen could work. The main reason why I wanted an island here was because I wanted to use these new chairs from the desert Lux kit. We could actually probably bring this forward and maybe do like our fridge and everything right there. Maybe I'll put a couple counters right here. We'll be able to use our trash can right there. We'll do a dream home decorator oven combinations and also maybe my sink over here. And then if we wanted to even, we could go over here and add more counters or I could just add a couple and this could be like coffee station. We can put a coffee machine. We can put a microwave. Oh gosh, I wonder what my budget is at. Again, all these items that I'm using are kind of like mid-range-ish. Although I am getting nervous. I think I'd rather be under than over budget. It's kind of looking like that might not happen though. Okay, this is how I'm gonna leave my kitchen on this side. I do wanna do maybe a dining table like right here. I'm gonna use that dining table there from Equal Lifestyle. I'm gonna use these base game chairs here. Oh, and for a centerpiece, we can use these little candles here from Seasons. We're gonna put an end table over there in the corner. That one there is from Cats and Dogs. Maybe we'll say that the kid upstairs is now a child, so we don't have to worry about getting like a high chair or anything. And I'm gonna leave it here. I'm not gonna add any like artwork on the walls over there. I'm just gonna leave it. We have one final room to do downstairs before we go up and do the bedrooms. And in here, I'm gonna try and save as much as I can. We'll just do some like basic wallpaper, cheap toilet and like shower and everything. In here, I'm basically just doing like a couple decor things so that it doesn't look too boring. <laughs> Maybe I can use this rug here from Cats and Dogs, some Desert Lux curtains, and I think I'm gonna leave it at this. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. We have a couple more rooms to go. Oh, I totally think I'm over. I'm nervous. Let's start out with the kids room here, which I had some roofing issues when I came inside. I had to like adjust the whole thing. It was really annoying. So that's why I have this like one wall here that has the paneling on it. So this wall is just gonna have to have that panel, which is really throwing a wrench in my plans here. What if we go like this? Maybe my bed can be in there. I can add maybe these lights here over top from high school years. Then that sort of makes sense why there's like that different paneling there. Ooh, what if we actually put bunk beds in there? We could add those two beds right there. Then it's actually like the cutest little fort under there. Then on the back here to cover this part up, I can add a little bear. We can do another one here on this side. We can do a dresser right here by the door. 
We'll hang some clothes above there from Dream Home Decorator. This scouting board could be fun. I was planning on making this into a closet here, but I think I'm gonna actually leave that for the bigger bedroom. So over there, they'll have the scouting board. I think I might put like a chair in here for them. The beanbag chair would be really cute. Maybe I could put a couple. Or instead, we'll do another toy box upstairs so they have one upstairs and one down. There we go. And maybe over here, because I have room, I can add a couple of these like plushies. We could add like these little guys just sitting there. Actually, if I have room here in the hallway, I could add this dollhouse so they have another thing to play with just outside the door. So there is our kids room. I would probably add some more stuff in there if I wasn't so sure that my budget was creeping up on me. We have one final room to go, which is our main bedroom. I don't know what wallpaper I want to use in here. I think I'm going to wait until we pick a bed. I think this one is really cute and it actually goes with the color scheme that I picked already. So we'll do this bed here. I'm going to go in and get some lighting. I've got some end tables here. I'm going to add this mirror over here in the corner, I think. This corner here was kind of where I wanted to do a walk-in closet. So I'm just going to add that shelf piece in there. We're going to go and get some clothes to hang. I'm going to add a mirror in there so it doesn't look so squishy. And maybe like a stool underneath there could be cute. See, in this scenario, I definitely would have put a TV right there. I definitely don't think that's a good idea though. Maybe they're planning on putting one there. They just can't afford it yet. Because we have the room for it, I'm going to put another dresser over in this corner here. Because I plan on leaving this wall empty for the purpose of having a TV in the future, maybe. I'm going to add this stone wallpaper there so that there's something going on. It's not just like a blank painted wall there. And normally I would probably add a little more clutter and things to the walls, but I really think I'm over my budget at this point. So this is what our house ended up looking like. Down below, we have quite a bit going on. No, I forgot about the freaking greenhouse. Crap. Okay, you know, we're going to do it. We have to do it. Okay, we're going to use that same wallpaper in here. I was even actually thinking in my head I was going to put the pumpkin carving station in here just because of the pumpkin patch is like right there. I feel like that would be so cute to have. Oh God. I'm going to use a couple of these big planters. Normally when I do greenhouses, I'll fill them up with like just decor plants, but I want this to be functional here. So I'm going to use those. This way your Sims can actually come in here and plant out of season things. We're going to add the cheapest plants possible that will still look cute. Maybe these ones here from werewolves. On this side, maybe we can do a big yellow tree. Another plant that's going to take up a lot of space. This one's here from Snowy Escape. And for decor here, I'm just going to add a couple of these lanterns over top and this rug here from Cats and Dogs can go in here too. There we go. <laughs> Crap. Okay, now we're done with our house. All right, the moment of truth. If I had to guess before looking, I would say I probably went over and we're at 65k. We're going to click on this here. It's going to show the final price in three, two, one, 55. I went over by like almost 15k. <laughs> Dang it. I really thought we were on track for a sec. I think looking back, I definitely could have saved on a few items in there. Maybe I shouldn't have gone as hard as I normally do with the cluttering in there, but crap, I should have stopped. Either way, this is a really fun challenge to try. You guys can do it as well if you want. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you again to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. Again, you can shop my picks with the link below. Use my code SIDMAC for 30% off your first order. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.